Hey, it's John from Electric Teeth here. In this video, I will explain the main things you need to know about NHS dental charges and what you can expect to receive in exchange for the price paid. The system is a bit complicated, but I will do my best to keep things as clear as possible. Okay, so the first thing to note is that whenever you go to see the dentist, you should expect to pay. Whether that is for emergency care, checkup, or for treatment. The cost of seeing a dentist will depend on your circumstances. Some people are entitled to free NHS dental care if they meet specific criteria. But unlike going to an NHS run doctor's practice or hospital, the treatment is not automatically free for most people. NHS dentistry is subsidised by the government, so you do not pay the full price to the dentist. And despite what many think, the fee charged in NHS practices doesn't go straight to the dentist themselves. Not all dental practices in the UK provide NHS dental care. Many provide private services only, whilst others will provide a mix of NHS and private services. The cost of seeing a dentist will depend on whether you are receiving NHS care or private care. Typically, private dentistry is more expensive, but it does offer more choice and the ability to obtain products and services not offered by the NHS. NHS and associated services are there to provide you with treatment that you need to keep your mouth healthy and functional. NHS dental services will not cover cosmetic or aesthetic work. This is where private practice can come in. So, if you need a tooth removed because it's decayed, no problem, that's covered. But if you want a set of shiny white veneers to look like a Hollywood A-lister, then the NHS won't be helping you with that. A key part of an NHS dentist role is to provide routine checkups to prevent any problems occurring in the first place or going unnoticed. Your NHS dentist is going to be able to assist with most things you will need but it might well be that you need specialist treatment that your general dentist is unable to offer. They have the option to refer you to hospital for some types of NHS dental care. This might include for a second opinion about lumps and bumps or for extraction of wisdom teeth. In the UK, everyone is entitled to NHS dentistry. There are NHS dentists available throughout England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Sadly, in some areas, there are not enough dentists for the number of people living in that region. Where this is the case, you may experience difficulty accessing NHS dentists for routine care and checkups. However, there are always procedures in place to help you access emergency NHS dental care, even if you're not registered with a dentist. The cost of NHS dentistry varies depending on whether you are in England, Wales, Scotland or Northern Ireland. In England and Wales, treatment is categorised under three bands, each with their own charge set by the governing bodies. In Scotland and Northern Ireland, you pay a percentage of the dentist fee up to a maximum amount. The prices and information provided is correct at the time of recording but is subject to change. In England and Wales, the type of treatment you have will fall typically into one of three bands. This applies to all treatment that is clinically necessary. Band 1. This is the lowest and cheapest band. This includes a typical dental checkup, x-rays, orthodontic case assessment, general dental advice, a scale and polish if necessary, and it also covers preventative treatments such as the application of a fluoride varnish. On screen now, you will see a more extensive list taken from the NHS website. The band one charge in England is £23.80 and £14.70 in Wales. Band two. The middle of the three bands, this covers treatment for gum disease, tooth decay, fillings, root canal treatments and the removal of teeth, as are additions to dentures such as adding a tooth or a clasp. The band 2 charge in England is £62.50 and £47 in Wales. Band 3. A band 3 dental charge will cover anything that involves a dental lab to make something for you. 
This is the most expensive band and often requires the most time and resources, be that from the staff in the dental practice or labs external to the dentist's office. Band 3 treatments include laboratory-made porcelain or composite veneers, onlays, inlays, bridges, crowns and dentures. The Band 3 charge in England is £282.80 and £203 in Wales. There is one additional band known as Band 4 or Urgent. This band covers assessment and specified urgent treatments such as pain relief or a temporary filling or dental appliance repair. The Band 4 charge in England is £23.80 and £14.70 in Wales. Free treatments. You do not have to pay a dental charge if you're having stitches removed, your dentist has to stop bleeding from your mouth, or your dentures need repair. However, if it's not possible to repair your dentures and you need new ones, then you'll have to pay for these. Courses of treatment. A very important thing to know is that while specific treatments are priced differently, they can fall under one course of treatment. And this therefore limits the cost you pay. For example, if you go in for your routine checkup, this falls under band one. At that appointment, you may be advised that you need to come back for a filling, which falls under band two. Rather than paying the cost of band one plus band two, you only pay the band two price. This applies whether you come back for one appointment or for a few further appointments. It is one price for all the treatment, whether you have one or multiple teeth treated. In a more extreme scenario, you might go for a checkup and be told you need a filling in two teeth, an extraction of three teeth, and then two new crowns. This is quite a bit of work, and each of these fall into different price bands. You do not pay the cost of band one plus band two plus band three you pay the band three price only. Rules and regulations. NHS dental band charges in England and Wales follow strict regulations. Don't worry, I'm not going into all of them in this video. But it is important to be aware of some key points. Under the banding system, it is possible to have fairly extensive treatment at an affordable price, but there are some considerations. The price is for one course of treatment. If you require additional treatment at a later date, after your treatment has been completed, you will most likely need to pay for a new course of treatment. Your course of treatment can only be kept open for a maximum amount of time, usually two months, without you coming back. In reality, this means that if you have a checkup and then you don't come back for your filling for three months, then you will be expected to pay for two courses of treatment. In other words, you will pay for your band one checkup for the original checkup. When you return for your filling, you will need a new checkup because the previous one is out of date. So you will pay the full band two charge for the checkup and filling when you return, even though you paid for a checkup three months ago. This would also apply if you paid a band two charge, but needed to return for a band three treatment. Free dental care. If you meet one or more of the following criteria when your treatment starts, you are entitled to free NHS dental care and won't pay the advertised charges. You are entitled if you are aged under 18 or under 19 and in qualifying full-time education, pregnant or have had a baby in the previous 12 months, staying in an NHS hospital and your treatment is carried out by the hospital dentist. An NHS hospital dental service outpatient, but you may have to pay for your dentures or bridges. You're also entitled if you or your partner, including civil partner, receive or you're under the age of 20 and the dependent of someone receiving income support, income related employment and support allowance, income based job seekers allowance, pension credit guarantee, universal credit and meet the criteria. If you're entitled to or named on a valid NHS tax credit exemption certificate, a valid HC2 certificate, people named on an NHS certificate for partial help with health costs HC3 may also get help. You will not be exempt from paying because you receive any of the following. Incapacity benefit. 
contribution-based employment and support allowance, contribution-based job seekers allowance, disability living allowance, council tax benefit, housing benefit, and pension credit, savings credit. Medical conditions do not exempt patients from payment for dental treatment. You'll be asked to show your dentist written proof that you do not have to pay for all or part of your NHS treatment. You will also be asked to sign a form to confirm that you do not have to pay. Please be aware that the rules can vary between countries in the UK and it is always best to consult with your NHS dentist for the most up-to-date and accurate information. In Wales, for example, checkups are free for those under 25 or for the over 60s. Even though the examination is free, if you are aged 19 to 24 or over 60, you will be charged a band one charge for any x-rays, scaling or fluoride varnish application. You will also pay for any treatment that is provided, i.e. band two or three. NHS dental charges in Scotland and Northern Ireland. In Scotland and Northern Ireland, dental charges are completely different and will vary depending on your treatment plan. You will pay 80% of the dentist charge up to a maximum of £384. The price schemes are complex, but your dentist will talk you through the cost of your treatment and provide you with a written breakdown of this before starting treatment. As with treatment in England and Wales, the NHS dental charges in Scotland and Northern Ireland do not apply to everybody. Some individuals are entitled to free NHS dental care. In Scotland, the prices are set by NHS Scotland. An NHS dental checkup is free for everyone in Scotland. X-rays are not included in this and standard bite wing x-rays, one each side, which are normally taken once per year, are five pounds. The NHS dental charges in Scotland following a pricing structure that is complex and will vary between patients, which makes it difficult to give exact prices for treatment before a checkup. Shown on screen now is a table of prices that give you some guidance on what you might expect to pay for treatment in Scotland. However, the full list and explanation can be found in the Statement of Remuneration linked below. The cost to you as a patient is 80% of the dentist fee, up to a maximum of £384 per course of treatment. In Northern Ireland, the prices that you pay are set by the Health Service of Northern Ireland. The maximum cost of a checkup in Northern Ireland is £7.03, not including x-rays. This price may increase if a more detailed examination is required. For example, a further examination of the gums, or if x-rays are required, standard bite ring x-rays, one on each side, which are normally taken once a year, are £4.90. The NHS dental charges in Northern Ireland follow a pricing structure that is complex and will vary between patients, so it is difficult to give prices before a checkup is completed. Health service dental charges are outlined in the table shown on screen now, taken from Northern Ireland's Direct Government Services website. A full list of explanations of the cost of health service dental treatment can be found through their Statement of Remuneration linked below, which is updated every year. NHS Guarantee Whether you are treated in England, Wales, Scotland or Northern Ireland, most dental treatment is covered by the NHS guarantee. This means that if treatment is required within 12 months of a tooth being treated, you are not expected to pay for that treatment. This only applies when it's the same tooth being treated and when you need the same item of treatment replaced. If it is a different problem, for example, a different filling has fallen out, then you will be expected to pay. The retreatment must be similar to the original treatment. However, under the NHS General Dental Services contract regulation, the replacement does not have to be like for like. For example, a different material may now be more appropriate. This guarantee also only applies if you return to the same dental practice. If you go to another dental practice, you will be expected to pay. Not all types of treatment are covered by this guarantee, but the following types of treatment are included fillings, 
root fillings, inlays, porcelain veneers and crowns. Any treatment not on the above list is not covered by the 12 month guarantee. For example, gum disease and dentures. It is possible that if you require a more complex treatment, for example a crown instead of a filling, you would need to pay for the band 3 charge. There is some further small print to this as you might expect and your dentist can go through this with you if you ask. Can I be charged for missing an NHS appointment? You cannot be charged for missing an NHS appointment. This is a rule set by the NHS. However, if you fail to attend appointment or cancel at short notice, then you could lose your place at the practice. If you've already started a course of treatment and fail to attend other appointments, you will still need to pay the relevant charge for the treatment that has been completed. NHS courses of treatment will be closed down if you do not return for treatment within two months of the checkup. If you fail to attend appointments for your course of treatment, even if it's within the two month time scale, the course of treatment may be closed down. The treatment plan may also be closed down before the two month point if your dentist tries getting in contact with you multiple times but you still don't get booked in. If a treatment plan is closed down because you do not attend, you will be expected to pay for a new checkup when you do return. Private upgrades. It is worth knowing that because many NHS dentists do also undertake private dental treatment, they may well offer you the option of opting for additional or premium treatments and services that are not available on the NHS. They should make it very clear what is and is not included with your NHS treatment and what the differences are with the privately offered alternative. They should too make it clear what the additional cost will be for the private work. An example might be that you need a filling. Under the NHS dental treatment the filling might be silver in colour. However, by opting and paying for the private dental treatment you can have a white coloured filling. I do hope this video has helped make clear what the NHS dental charges are and how they apply. Linked in the video description are a number of additional resources you might find useful.